So first you have to get the stars web swally gate. Well, right there is summarize it. If you know where's it, you you're good. Then you go in front and you see this big green gate. Then you have to turn left. But sadly your journey ends here. Because in the left of this really nice fine gate is a really big bad foe. This motherfucker. Lionfish. The guy who kills you with no reason because he's a really big fish. As Obi-Wan Kenobi said, there's always a bigger fish. And it's definitely not you. No, no, no. So of course, as a normal person, we will just um, cross the path where the lionfish spawns. And like, yeah. Because it's the only place where I encountered the flying fish. By the way, ignore gargolies or whatever. They really can't do anything. They're gonna just mindlessly chase you. And sadly, they will die. If you find the warden, I recommend running away because he's always hostile and is always a bitch to you. Yes, so all you have to do is run because he's after a few seconds of running, he's gonna just get bored and stop chasing you. Because I don't know. Yeah, he just he's just standing. He doesn't care anymore. I guess he just doesn't get paid an ouch for his job. So just run past him and get your free money. Hell yeah. Now find the guard who guards the elevator and gently push him in the wall. Yeah, he's not gonna attack you, so all you have to do is just push him. Don't push him too far away, else he will go back to his spot and he won't be movable, pushable again. But the hell is immovable? Sit through a really boring elevator sequence, and then you're in the fourth merit. Anyways, now all you have to do is make this guard not look in front of him. Push him a little bit to the edge and then to the wall. Just make it so he's gonna look blind or whatever. Turn his back on... But yeah, you get it. Now, all you have to do is do the same thing to other guards you see. You don't need to do it to every guard because it's not like they care, honestly. But you have to do it if you don't want to get attacked. Now you have to go either to left or right. At the left there's a guard that sometimes will stay the way, so you have to go to right sometimes. Yeah, that's like a really fun game of crouching. So basically in the right there's only two guards that can see you. Unfortunately, one of the guards was removed, so now there's only one guy. Sometimes he's buggy. Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah, ah, ah. Go crazy! Go stupid! And sometimes he's not. Ignore him, he's not that cool. Now pick up the guard and run. Yeah, just just run. Guards won't care for the first time. But in the later times you have, will have to run like... Uh, I don't know... Forrest Gump? Whatever. Just run. Do it to us being special educated, I don't wanna say the full word, we're gonna not use the elevator and jump down and break our bones. Like this. Don't forget the dash. And boom, you got your free money. And you always get a good loot, for example this one star sword. Technically you can trade it for something. I don't know. Anyways, you can find a lot of good stuff in this place so it's basically infinite notes and infinite trading items so yes it's kind of worth it i don't know now that you healed go back up and do the same thing but be cautious the guards now hate you so don't get on their eyes or they're gonna mm, assault you i don't want to say it the bad way
So yeah, just keep this and budget the guards. Imagine if they have coronavirus, like hundreds. They're kind of like um, the the race that nobody knows of. So usually the outsiders have a lot of coronavirus. No offense to outsiders, and no offense to the coronavirus. But yeah, this is it. There's nothing else you need to know about farming Fort Merit. This was your favorite YouTuber Russian guy. Have a good day.